Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right into episodes 13 and 14 of Love, Shinobu, and Other Delusions. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 13. In 3, 2, 1, go. Oh. And let me guess, Cumin? He's never gonna go up. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's obvious. Really, Sonic. I mean, Kumi, but Sonic. <laughs> sure. That's sounding. Figures. Aww. Aww. <laughs> oh my god, stop it. Stop. Like my heart can't take this. Oh my god, are you trying to kill me? You're trying to kill me. Oh my god, I don't want this. Like, oh my god. Like, yeah. It is just still so weird that my, like, cannon ship. <laughs> it's it's just weird. No, like, both of these two VAs play, like, the most iconic characters that I love so freaking much, and they're together. And I can't look at it the same way again. I mean, because she plays one of my best girls in Idol Master, and he plays like literally one of the hottest guys in anime besides Joker because I mean Joker is like no well no Joker is the hottest guy. Lelouch is like the second hottest guy and then Oh that's hard. Who would be that for me? Oh my god, it's like my list <laughs> My list of hot men because <laughs> I have too many because when it comes to anime, man, you can't have but one. You have to have them all. Mm -hmm. That's like currently with like what series am I watching right now? Um, freaking Devil's Line, and I fell in love with that boy as well. <laughs> oh. Apparently not. Mm -hmm. Do you want something to change? Mm-hmm. 
But it's all true, right? And most people go on dates during Christmas. That or spend time with family. Then do it on a different day. <laughs> or maybe you guys could have it at somebody's house. There you go. Oh my god, no. Yeah, but imagine. Okay, what about human? No, no, not with that room. Well, you're right, because we've never seen Sami's house. Okay. <laughs> That's not a house. <laughs> oh. What exactly do your parents do? <laughs> I mean, seriously, yeah. They're all normal and you are just over the top. But you know what, Sonny? That's what I love about you. Seriously, this is not our house. Look at the tomatoes! Oh my god. Are you gonna take a nap? Oh god. <laughs> no! Oh my god. No! Yeah, we, we sure do. Well, then shouldn't the guys also dress up as well? It is, but I mean, her dress was fine. <laughs> of course. You've 
but she's not here. She's still here. <laughs> hmm? I mean, but you know what? Her house ain't as big as Marty. Marty lives in a damn hotel. <laughs> you know, this isn't a regular card game. This is literally Yu Gi Oh! in a nutshell. <laughs> Good job, human. <laughs> what are we talking about? Are you okay? Are you drunk? Oh my god! Are you drunk? The cake? But uh, no, no, it had to be something she drank. <laughs> the cake? This is so cute. She is literally playing her character Shadow. <laughs> it is the owner of Ravik, so she's not drunk on coffee. Uh. Oh my god, she struck as well. Cumin, did you eat some too? What is she about to do? I'm scared. You're not going to sit on him, are you? I know. I can't. Pudding. Oh my god.
Just lie down, get some sleep, get her some food. She'll be okay in a couple hours. Well, unfortunately, I think I have to. <laughs> mm -hmm. No. 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 <laughs> I can't believe she's still drunk. Oh my god. She got over her hangover quickly, right? Oh. Tomorrow, or at least like on the twenty sixth. The smile is so cute. Oh my god, Sonic!
but she's still fun, poor baby. Oh my god, Sonic! But, uh, Oh my god. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh damn. <laughs> that was adorable. Oh my god. Probably like the cutest Christmas episode I've ever seen. I mean, I've seen others that are just as cute, but this took the cake. I wasn't really imagining um, she could have a kid. But, you know, I mean, come on. We all know that those two are super really attracted to each other. But, <laughs> but they just sealed the deal in this episode. You thought it was gonna be so close, but just mm. I mean that hurts a little bit because you know out of all the characters who you want to like kiss, they're number one for me. So since it didn't happen in the first half, aka season one, hopefully fourteen to twenty six, I believe, um, <laughs> gives me something, <laughs> like a little something, something make me happy. But it was a cute little episode. Seeing Rika and Sane <laughs> drunk. I mean, I loved it. Icing on the cake. Best thing ever. I mean, just like I said, it reminds me of his the order of rabbit with <laughs> and getting drunk off coffee because I mean I remember ever since I watched the show, I was like, How in the world can you get drunk off coffee? And I was just like, you know what, let me just not ask that question again, and let's just roll with it. But, I mean, hey, that's one of my other favorite characters. She's voice. <laughs> it's just so good. But, oh my god, this is just a really cute, adorable episode. I mean, seeing them you know, go on a boat together, and their last few moments before the episode was like, that was so cute. And the fact that he's older, they don't have to rush. Like, oh my god. Like, hmm. Babies protect them like oh my god i mean they just take it slow you don't have to take it too fast like some guys will pressure rush into things but it was cute like oh my god like stop the feels in this episode like dead ass like oh my god too much i mean mm, i can't like <laughs> no one's been twice they were close to kissing and it's just like oh my heart like uh, I, I imagine like if it happens in the second season, if they kiss, I'm just I'm gonna I'm gonna combust into flames. I'm just gonna die, and I'm just gonna cry and just be so happy for them because, I mean, the one thing that I'm kind of expecting into the second season is for them as a couple, we do get to see them go on a little bit more dates and stuff without you know everyone else because I'm thinking, oh my god, this is like the first time that they're actually going to be together since the end of season one. 
as a couple and doing like coupley things and then no here comes everybody else to ruin it the third wheels of course but i mean yeah that's all i want for season two but <clears throat> go ahead and pause the video and i'll see you guys in one second for episode 14 all right episode 14 and three two one go <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I feel like that's a fail. Take two. <laughs> like, <I> <laughs> that was so cute, though. Poor baby, though. Cumin's pose, I can't, it's too cute. Like, but that's cumin in my shell. But, like, mm hmm, got my pillow, mm hmm, sleepy time. <laughs> oh, no, I'm scrambled. Ah, so that's why you're living together. <laughs> Oh. So basically, like, even more and more like a real couple. Oh my god, it's so cute! Still don't like tomatoes. Oh my god, girl. Tomatoes are good, especially when you get some scrambled eggs. I'm sorry, I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look at it. It's so good, and y'all.
You just take it slow. You're right about that. It's basically the same thing, except you're dating. Oh, this is so cute! Really, Shinka. <laughs> That's what I want to know. Because I feel like Sane, I mean, that had to be Sane walking past us, so with her long, gorgeous hair. Really? Where? I mean, you know, she could have just lived at Sane's house. I mean, come on. Sane's house is big as hot. I just froze. I knew that was going to be a no. Like, mm, come on now. Share human. Mm, there's Sunny. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? Didn't even phase her at all. Aww. <laughs> Or you could just dye your hair again to the right color.
Jesus Christ, I'm <laughs> Figures you would get sick. <laughs> it could be that new girl from the opening that she's gonna meet. I mean, she's bound to show up. She's like the only one who's left in the group who needs to show up. Well, yeah, no, you're going to have to eventually tell the truth that you're living together. Hmm? Humor? Like Kiki over the new guy, sir. Mm-hmm. Of course. Oh, yeah, you guys were bound to find out, but I thought it was going to take at least two episodes. Hey, Tog! (laughs) 
Oh, fuck. No, no. <laughs> I'm choking. Pillars, or it's just gonna be like a giant robot or something. No pillars, okay. Well, we screwed. I mean, guys, if you just talk to Polka and say, hey, you know. <laughs> I can't. Oh, cute. My poor baby. But as I was like, if you just tell her the truth and say that you two are literally living together, I think she would be fine with it. Just tell the truth. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything's fine. Roommates. Oh. Don't be excited about that.
Perfect. Yeah, if it's just, you know, two girls and a guy, that's fine. Toka would be fine with that, right, Toka? <laughs> you hush. <laughs> Are you smelling it? The girl with the pink hair, right? Please tell me the girl with the pink hair is not going to fall for him, too. Oh, bless you. <laughs> but it could, it, it could seem like that. Oh my god, it's the pink blood from Dog and Earl. <laughs> Bro, what the heck do I have to say about this? It's cute that they're living together. I mean, I mm, never would have assumed that they would have taken that next step so quickly. But hey, you never know. I mean... He's still in high school. I mean, bruh. <laughs> but it's cute. Um, Shinka with her new hair and style and attitude, I like it. It's adorable. But I think she'll still be reminded of what she was like in school and beforehand. It's kind of like how, okay. And I love comparing this because I see it, it's just more. It, to me, it's interesting. Okay. So you know when a child actor gets into a really interesting franchise of the series and then next thing you know when the series is over and um, they're trying to move on from that role and go more into adult roles because they are older? That's what it kind of seems like. Like, I can give an example. The kids of freaking Harry Potter. The do we count Twilight as one? Not really, but like any big franchise that has more than one movie or more than one book series, or it could be even a TV series. Like think of freaking Vampire Diaries or um, Supernatural, even though those are grown ass men, or any any type of movie series or TV series where um, they've been playing these characters for such a long time, and no matter how many times they've moved on from that show or movie, people always will still know them as these characters. Like, as much as Emma Watson is, how old she is, she's, like, in her, like, 20s, 30s, I believe. She'll always be known for as Hermione Granger from Harry Potter. And same thing with Daniel Radcliffe and Rupert, who played Ron. And it's such, I, I, and I get that, because everybody wants to, like, change their image, like, after they're done or they're free from... A movie series, a TV series, a company, Disney or Nickelodeon. Um, and essentially, that's why most of these celebrities like end up doing the things that they do. I can't be 100% sure about that. But from the patterns and the way it looks, yeah. But like for, Sa uh, for Shinka, Shinka just, she doesn't want to be reminded of the things that happen. Especially the dirt that Sane knows on her. Um, but yeah, seeing like Sane like switch her personality like that and you know, how like. This girl, mm -mm, I can't. I still love her though. I mean, honestly, I cannot wait to see this new girl, even though she's teased in the opening just how much as um, what's her face from Fire Force was te teased in the opening, and she got her first appearance last week, and she's already my second new best girl. But I think this new girl, I don't really know about her yet. I mean, I think once we officially see her, probably when she comes between episode fifteen and sixteen, that's probably when I'll get my first out. Um, my first thoughts on her, but she seems cute. I think she's going to be a little, um, hassle of trouble. Like, th just that one person who was just like, damn, we really shouldn't fuck with her. 
Um, she might even be a second year. She could be a first year, maybe. I don't know. But I think when she does officially show up, whether it is 15 or 16, which I'm assuming it has to be 15 and 16, um, I think she's going to be a great addition to this group. Really, honestly. I think, you know, she might even be Cumin's best friend. Who knows? You never know. It might be Q. Her and Cumin are probably going to become the best of friends. It'd be so adorable. Like, oh my god. But the fact that Toka is okay with Rika living with <laughs> Yuta and her sister. And his sister, I mean, mm, until, you know, she finds a place. But still, that's good. I mean, this episode was just so freaking good. It's just like, ah, oh, it was everything that I wanted. Like, mmm. It was adorable. But other than that, guys, that was my reaction view towards episodes 13 and 14 of Love, Channel Boyo, and Other Illusions. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons. And next to, nope, Monday for everybody else for episodes 15 and 16. Bye, guys.